Okay guys, now that I got the eye candy out of the way, let's go and talk over some of the points of this gun that I really enjoy. Uh, first off, of course, being the price. I'm a cheap airsoft player. If I can save a dollar here and there, I will. So I was happy to see that Airsoft GI did stock this CM028C. It is exactly like the other CM028s. The only difference is that you're going to have that groove grip, the waffle mag, the LE stock and buffer tube, which was the selling point for me, and the wrist handguard in the front. So overall, you're getting a gun that is old school, but you're getting all the new school looks to it that you want. So it's just a really fun gun to shoot, and honestly, I could take this gun right out in the field now with no modifications and be very happy to use it. Unfortunately, though, it is a project gun, so there's going to be a lot of work done to this. That's what it was bought for. So I'm really happy to see that, though. Another point that this gun is very rugged, and when I mean rugged, I mean rugged. Yeah, this gun is all plastic, but you know, you got the actual front end is metal itself. You got the metal gearbox. And SEMA makes a great 028 or a version 3 gearbox for these 028s. I mean, they really just don't get any better for the price. Um, so I'm really happy to see that. I've been running uh, LiPos with high speed gears and high speed motors in my CMO 028 Macro 9 for the longest time. So uh, that's really nice to see. You get the Waffle Magazine. I've always liked these. They are all plastic, they are a little bit lighter than the other mags, but this one just clicks right into the mag world. You have no problems at all. I mean, there's no wobble to it, so that's really nice to see. You get that forward grip. It's not the coolest looking vertical grip in the world, but it does the job. It feels really good, and I like to put my thumb right behind the side rail, so you can do that for the right side, too. It gives you a really nice grip, and it gives you a really nice sight picture. And I've always liked AK sights, even if they weren't the most accurate. So, guys, overall, for around $100 to $130, depending on where you buy this gun, you're getting a very good deal. If you're into AKs, if you're into M4s, but you don't know what to go for, just go for this. You're getting the rails that you need for your attachments. You're getting that LE stock that you've always been familiar with with the M4s. So if you're a shorter guy, <coughs> this goes down to about a half inch shorter than the full stock of an AK, and it goes all the way out to six more positions. So if you're a bigger guy, that'll definitely accommodate you. So overall, it's a really fun gun. On top of that LE stock, you're getting all these extra sling adapter points. And then, of course, you get the original ones right here in the front and on the back. Unfortunately, those aren't only on the left side, but as I said, sling swivels are on both sides of the stock for your one-point ambidextrous sling mounts. So, overall, really cool gun. You get that standard length of an AK, so 455mm inner barrel. That's more than enough to outrange your opponent if you put the right hop of components and power components in the gun. So, overall, guys, uh, I've said it already, you will not be disappointed with this gun. Overall, just a, um, it's, ju it's just one of those guns that you know everyone's going to have it on the field and enjoy it if they have it. So it's, it's really amazing how, you know, SEMA has done such a good job on these guns. But I've had, you know, bad experiences in the past with, you know, three, four hundred dollar guns. But I can go and buy a hundred, sixteen, hundred, twenty dollar gun and be perfectly content to take this out on the field every day. Okay, so moving from all my pros, of course there is going to be cons with a gun. Um, the fact that it is all plastic is going to steer away a lot of you airsoft players, especially y'all expert and intermediate players, because a lot of y'all are going to say right off the back, well, if it doesn't have a metal body, it's not for me. That's not my philosophy. If it's rugged, if it's ready to go out on the field, it's for me, and that's exactly what this gun is. So if you're not into plastic parts and plastic body, don't get this gun. Go get you a GMP AK. perfect for you. Okay, so uh, on top of that, the only other con I would have to say is the rate of fire. Uh, the fact these SEMAs probably come, they come with a reliable motor, they just come with a very junky, very low performance motor. Uh, this is with what I believe is about 390 FPS, and this is a fully charged 8.4 stick battery. So it's not the strongest rate of fire at all, um, it's nothing you would take out there and be like, hey guys, look at my gun. But you know, it gets the job done, and that's all that matters. And guys, I have to be honest with you here, I cannot find any other cons in this gun besides that. Um, just, I'm just being completely honest. Uh, that's how much I love these tactical AKs, and I can't wait to, you know, do what I'm doing to this gun for the project. Okay guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Y'all saw the eye candy. Y'all saw my take on the gun. Let's go ahead and see how this gun performs.
Okay guys, so 345 to 355 FPS with 25 grand, B, uh, grand BBs is consistent enough for a Chinese gun. Let's see what we can get as far as the rate of fire. 11.31, which is right at 700. 11.36, so this gun is shooting 700 rounds a minute or 11.36 rounds per second. Okay, accuracy is definitely average out the box. I'm definitely getting a decent amount of flyers. But that's nothing an R hop can't fix. Let's go ahead and see what this gun can do on full auto. Hey guys, to wrap this video up, I thought I'd do it the only way I know how to is by destroying some cans. Also, at this point, if you haven't seen my new channel, Can Carnage, go check it out. I do a bunch of stuff like this over there. Just started it up, so I got a couple of videos. I think you'll enjoy the channel. So go ahead and go over there now, or at the end of this video, of course. And in the meantime, let's see what happens in this setup. 